Greetings, Earthlings. I am Professor Crowley, here with the one and only... Trixie! Excellent. How are you doing? Good. So, we're doing this a bit differently today. We're doing the intro. We're filming the intro in the evening. This is the end of our day. We're done. We're finished. But you guys are going to be seeing this at the beginning of the video. And what was today's lesson about? It was about cooking. Cooking. So, like, breakfast. Lunch, Lunch and dinner. dinner. Trixie was in control of one meal and we were both kind of helping out for lunch and then I kind of took over and did dinner, um, which which was a bit of a disaster, but it's gone well in the past. Um, so Trixie, take it away. What did you make today for breakfast? I made fluffy pancakes. Really fluffy pancakes. They were fantastic. So you're going to see that in a minute. That's going to be the first thing you see. Then what did we make after that together? We made soup. Yes. Leek and Leek and potato soup with some smoky bacon in there as well and some corn. Um, that is kind of like our take on a thrifty uh, lunch if you I don't I think have... you'll see in the video though. Yes, yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it. All will be revealed. <laughs> and then lastly, what I just finished up right now was Brody's, Brody's famous, famous meatballs. meatballs. And I, I mean, tooting my own horn here, but I think they were mwah, yeah, delicious. Yeah, they were really good. Oh, good. You should try them at home. Yes, the whole idea of this is for you to try these recipes at home uh, with your family. The breakfast is fantastic. It looks long-winded and complicated, but it's really, really not. Uh, preparation is key. If you can get your ingredients together before you start, it will make it so much easier as you progress on. Um, and yeah. And if you don't like the um, meatball cheese, you can just have normal Daniel Crowley meatballs. <coughs> exactly, so for the meatballs, um, I made two separate ones at the same time. I did a portion for Trixie and I did a portion for myself. The portion for Trixie actually didn't have uh, one of the secret ingredients inside the meatballs, which you'll see later. And um, it also it didn't have the red wine in the sauce as well, which mine did. Uh, so there's, there's lots of options there. Let's get on with it. Let's crack on. Are you tired? Oh yeah, it's yeah. evening. <laughs> Let's crack on. So let's get started. Here I've measured up four cups of flour. And now we're just going to sieve it into a big bowl. Now we're going to use four tablespoons of baking. And this is going to be for breakfast. Now we're going to put that to one side. Now we're going to need four cups of warm milk. Just warming up the milk now into the microwave. Once it's warm, we're going to transfer the milk into this big bowl. Once it's warm. Here I have 
have three egg yolks and four egg whites. So now we're going to put the egg whites to work to one side and only concentrate on the yolks for now. And now we shall add them to the warm milk yolk. They're in there. Now we're going to take three quarters of one butter and put it into this white bowl that we used for the eggs. So now we have our three quarters of melted butter. We're going to put that into this ginormous bowl. We're going to mix it now. Biggest bowl in the world. Now we shall pour this whole ground of flour into this. Now we're going to fold the egg whites into the mixture. It's really, really, really important that you cook these on a low heat. Hey Trixie, Trixie's fluffy pancakes are ready. Yeah. My ultimate thrifty lunch will always be a soup. It's really versatile and it's great for using up ingredients that you've already got sitting at home. So today we're going to be making smoky bacon, sweet corn and potato soup. But a funny story about this particular recipe of mine, I actually don't like it. I can't stand it. I don't like potatoes, I don't like leeks, I don't like soup and I don't like bacon. Weird, I know, looking at the size of me, I don't like bacon. How do you not like bacon? Strange. Bacon. I'm going to make it anyway. So what we've got in here now is the bacon, we've got the potato, we've got the leek uh, just sweating inside with a little bit of oil and some onion as well. And we're just waiting for those starchy combinations to really bind together. Uh, the next stage is gonna be uh, finding some, maybe some chicken stock or something like this. So we're just gonna add the stock in now. Really let that bubble through, fantastic. Next stage, sweet corn. Finally, and in my opinion, the secret ingredient, creamed corn. Right inside there. Fantastic. Then you just want to stir all that up. So yeah, that is my smoky bacon, sweet corn and leek soup. Um, hope you enjoy that. I really do think the secret ingredient is the creamed corn. Um, and yeah, just leave it, to, uh, leave it to cook for a good half an hour, 45 minutes. So this is Crowley's 
famous meatballs with a special uh, melted cheese center. Now what you're going to want to do, grab a lovely big bowl. In goes the beef mix. Now you're going to want some onion. Some seasoning. Secret ingredient breadcrumbs. So that is the meat all mixed up, all those ingredients. And now we're going to shape our balls. Now you should have fairly similarly shaped meatballs. Now what we're going to do is squeeze some mozzarella inside them. So now we're just going to cut our mozzarella. And then we're going to put the mozzarella within the ball. Grab a mozzarella and then enclose it inside like so. And then you just want to seal it up all the way around. And that is how you make a Crowley famous meatball. So now for the Crowley famous tomato sauce. Um, normally I would use some kind of passata but they didn't have any so I'm using some Lloyd Grossman, and then we're just going to put in some red wine for the adults. Um, for the kids, you can just have the sauce as is. Inside one of these bad boys is a nice melted mozzarella surprise. Look at that. Oh. It's got beautiful sear on there as well. Look at that. Fantastic. Dad, don't do this to me. Hit that subscribe button. It should go grey and say subscribe and then hit that notification bell. Um, what did you think of our recipes? What did, it, did you try it at home? Please, please, please comment down below. Let us know. We'd love to read uh, what your experience was with that. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace.